In this video I'm going to demonstrate the Oktoberfest style beer kit from Brew Barrel. Home Beer Brewery Mark from BrewBarrel.com asked me if I want to give my thoughts about this beer kit. And I said of course and I could choose between different styles of beer. So I choose the October style. The great advantage of this beer kit is that you can split the complete batch in half. So you can make a 23 liter batch of beer or just 11 and a half liters of beer. So that's really great. I will show you what's inside the box and I explain more about splitting that batch. It's unbox time. Let's see what's inside this beer kit. Ah, you already can see the big can of malt extract. It's a little jerry can. They added a piece of paper for protection while shipping it. Let's get the big can of malt extract out. As you can see it's 3.2 kilogram of uh, malt extract. A little jerry can as you can see. Let's set that aside. A bottle with the hop extract with a pipette for measuring the hop extract. Yeah. Oh nice. Can you see? Oh I smell it smell it already over here. Oh it smells good. So a bottle of hop extract. Two sedges of yeast. And I will explain in a bit why they provide two sedges of yeast. And what's more in the box? Two bags with little pieces of oat chips. Also two bags. And that's everything what's inside the box. But I forgot that I set away the instruction manual. Like you can see, I have the instruction manual over here and here you can see on the front the different styles of beer kit, beer kits that they uh, sell and different types but I have the October style beer kit. On the other side there is the complete instruction manual. Again they're referring to different styles of beers. You can see the total volumes that, uh, that you are going to use for this beer kit and the hop additions and oat chips and stuff. Looks like a, a really easy beer kit and a very clear instruction manual to me. The great thing of this beer kit is that they provided two sachets of yeast and two bags of oak chips. And the reason for that is very simple but very nice. This is a beer kit to brew about 23 liters of beer. If you want to make a half batch of beer, it's only about uh, 11 and a half liters, you simply use the half of the malt extract, one bag of yeast and one bag of oak chips. And you choose the right amount of hop extract. So that's very nice, very clever. So every ingredient that you need to brew this October style beer is inside the kit. Except the water of course. It was about one year ago I believe that I made another video about the brew barrel. And that was a kit with a provided keg. So they provided a fermentation vessel to ferment the beer. But this is only an ingredient kit, so you need some homebrew equipment. Like a fermenter, this is a 30 liter fermenter with an airlock. And I'm using the 30 liter version because I'm going to brew the complete kit, that's 23 liters. If you want to make the 11 and a half liter batch that's alright, 
and you can choose a smaller fermenter. So, fermenter and an airlock. You need a measuring cup, especially when you are to make the 11.5 liter version. You can see that in the manual. But I'm using the measuring cup to add the cold water in uh, just a moment. Of course, you need a spoon to mix the ingredients. So, let's set that aside. Bottles. You need, of course, some bottles to bottle your beer. This, these are some uh, flip top bottles. I'm going to bottle, for the sake of this video, uh, a couple of bottles, I think four or six, and the rest of the beds I'm going to keg. I love to keg, and uh, maybe I'm also doing a secondary, but uh, I will explain that later in, uh, in this video, I guess. So, you need bottles for bottling your beer. You need something to clean your homebrew equipment, and this is OxyClean. And as you can see on this footage, I already cleaned my fermenter and other stuff. So a little bit of OxyClean or other stuff to clean your homebrew equipment. And you have to sanitize your homebrew equipment. Everything what touches the wort has to be sanitized. And I'm using StarSan, but you can use every uh, sanitizer of your choice. So that's uh, everything what I need. Let's uh, brew this batch of beer. The first step is to warm up the malt extract. I have here a measuring cup with hot water and I'm going to put the can of malt extract in the measuring cup so it can warm up a little. Yes, it fits. If you don't have a big measuring cup like this, you need a pot or something else with hot water to warm up the malt extract. I will set this aside for about 10 or 15 minutes. It's about 15 minutes later, and as you can see, the malt extract is not thick anymore, so I can pour it easily out into the fermenter. During the time that the malt extract was warming up, I had time to sanitize my fermenter. Here it is. And hang on, because now it's going really fast. Because brewing with this kit goes really fast and it's easy. Next step is to add the malt extract into the fermenter. So again, I have a sanitized fermenter. The malt extract is warmed up and let's pour everything in the fermenter. And I will give a close up. Here it goes. Now I'm going to rinse the canister with 2 liters of hot water. Not boiled water, but hot water. Ooh, smells nice. Let's give it a shake to dissolve all the malt extract. As you can see, there's no malt extract anymore sticked on the canister. So everything is dissolved in the water. And let's add this to the fermenter as well. Well, that's it. Now I'm going to stir the mold extract and the water till it's uh, completely dissolved. Now we're going to add cold water to the 23 liter mark. Here we go. Okay. 
As you could see, I topped it up with cold water to the 23 liter marking. And now it's time to add the hop extract. This is the bottle with the hop extract. They printed two scales on it. One scale is for the 11.5 liter batch. And the other scale is for the 23 liter batch. I'm going to show you in the manual how many hops I'm going to add to this particular brew. There are two possibilities to measure the right amount of hops. Option one is using the scale on the bottle. Option two is look at this chart and search the type of beer that I'm brewing. This is the Oktoberfest style and I'm brewing the big batch, the 23 liter batch, 40 pints. And I'm looking for a classic bitterness. And as you could see, it tells me I have to add 13 times a full pipette of hop extract. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to save off the hop extract for later purposes. So 13 times. This is one. After adding the hops, it's time to add the American oak chips. Two bags actually. They are ready. Prepared it in these little bags and I assume they are already sanitized. So I'm going to add them to the fermenter. That's one. Bag number two. The smell that's coming out of the fermenter already is uh, really nice. The hop extract is doing its work. Again, another bag with the American oak chips. So I give it a bit of a stir. The oak chips will give a nice flavor to the beer, like the beer is coming out of a wooden barrel. Very uh, thoughtful. Now it's time to let the yeast work. I'm going to add two bags, two sachets of yeast. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of the foam. There's one. The instruction manual tells me to stir in the yeast. Usually I don't do that. Normally I add the yeast on top of the foam and let it rehydrate. This is uh, my, my way, but if you are planning to brew this kit at your own, please follow the instruction manual. I'm going to ferment this beer at room temperature, so between 18 and 22 degrees Celsius, for about 7 days. And I will come back to you in this video, so please keep watching. Welcome back! It's actually 8 days later now. Yesterday it was day 7 of the fermentation. I noticed some airlock activity, there was still some airlock activity and that were signs that the fermentation wasn't completed. Today it is and it's time to bottle this batch. It's important to sanitize the bottles. Of course you can do it by hand, but I own a fancy bottle washer like this and I'm going to use this, but you can wash them by hand. Especially when you have only a couple of bottles. Well, one bottle is sanitized. I'm going to sanitize the rest. I've sanitized all my bottles. Now we have to add a priming sugar. And that's always a tricky part. And I like to use carbonation drops. Like uh, this type, you have from Coopers. 
We are like uh, tablets. I'm going to add two tablets in each bottle. Of course, you can also use a big teaspoon of uh, normal table sugar. I will remove the airlock. Here we go. And now I'm opening the spigot. This is a much better camera angle. I already filled some bottles, but it was a little bit off camera. But it's very easy. I'm not going to make it a complex. Uh, it's an empty bottle. Here I have the, the spigot on my fermenter. Now it's closed. I'm going to attach the bottle underneath the, the spigot. Just carefully opening the spigot. And I'm going to fill the bottle. I don't know if you can see the level of the beer in the bottle. It's over here. It's very important that you don't splash the beer in the bottle. You don't want to have, to, you don't want to have oxygen in your uh, bottle. So it's almost full. Closing the spigot. Here we go. And it's nicely filled. This is the beer level. And this is the great feature of flip top bottles. You don't need a bottling device. We are ready. The bottling process is finished. I'm going to store the bottles at room temperature again. Somewhere between 2 and 5 days for the secondary fermentation in the bottle. So at room temperature between 18 and 22 degrees. And I'm going to lager it in a refrigerator for about two weeks after that. So I'm going to do a taste test of this beer in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to this beer. This is the best part of the video guys, actually tasting the beer that I brewed with the Oktoberfest style beer kit from Brew Barrel. As you saw I bottled a couple of bottles and the rest of the batch I kegged. For this video I have over here one bottle straight out of the refrigerator so it's nice and cold as it should be. And it's been aged for about two weeks in the refrigerator so it's still young. I have a glass that fits the October style beers. It's maybe not the best beer for tasting the beer or doing a review, but I'm not going to give you a complete review about this beer because I'm not a beer reviewer. That's a complex job. I can do that. But I'm going to be honest with you if I like this beer or not. So let's give it a pour. I can't wait. Here we have a close-up of the bottle. I made a nice label on it. As you can see, a lot of condensation on the bottle. Because it's cold. It's nice and clear, as you can see. It's uh, yeast at the bottom, so it's a sign of uh, a good secondary fermentation. And, uh, let's give it a pour. Yes, this will work. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. That sounds great. A lot of smoke coming out of the bottle. I guess there's a lot of carbonation in it. Oh, it looks great. I'm trying to not pour the yeast within it. It's not a big deal if I do. But check this out. Check this out. Looks great, doesn't it? This beer speaks for itself. Very nice color, a little bit darker than I expected. There's a bit of uh, foam on it, not as much 
is on a package, but I told you the beer is uh, very young and uh, maybe it's uh, the glass, but there is uh, a head on it. it smells uh, really good. I'm not detecting uh, the oak chips, but I expect that in, uh, in the beer itself, not in aroma. I definitely get some of the, of the hop oil, of the hop aroma. Uh, let's dive in. Looks, uh, looks good. It's nice uh, carbonated. So let's give it a sip. Yeah, right. I told you I'm not a beer reviewer. I'm impressed. Really. Honestly. I'm not going to lie. This is great. It's a beer kit uh, without sugar uh, addings. It's, it's an all malt kit. And you can taste it. Sometimes with uh, an extra kit you have a taste of iron in it and don't know uh, how that how comes how that happens but uh, this is very nice no off flavors oh man oh man and I have lots more of this beer I really like this what can I say Maybe it's on the background when you uh, have swallowed this, this beer. There's a tiny hint maybe of the, of the, of the oak chips. But it's, it's on the end. Oh man. This is really great. I love this kit. Really. The aroma of the hops are really coming through. I have still some hop oil left. And that's the great thing of this uh, beer kit. They provided enough hop oil so you can change it afterwards at your choice, at your taste. So I have a full keg and if I want to have a more hoppy aroma I can just add a couple of drops or the rest of this bottle straight into the keg, so that's uh, very nice. And you can even give one drop, I don't know if you can see this, one drop directly to your glass. Uh, that should be enough. No, we do two, two drops. Let's see. Ooh. If you if you own a kit like this, or if you're going to uh, buy one and you brew with this kit, you know for sure that this hop extract is really strong. I added two two drops to this beer, and it's boom coming straight out of the glass. Great. Such a nice kit. And I'm really lucky because I have lots of um, beer in the refrigerator and a full keg. So, uh, Mark from BrewBarrel.com, thank you very much for sending me this beer kit. Guys, thank you very much for watching this complete video. It's about uh, 20 minutes now, I guess, total uh, time. I'm going to edit this and um, Enjoy the rest of this beer. Cheers and um, speak to you soon. Bye bye.